the features of topographic maps. So what do they look like? A topographic map is used by people like hikers and emergency services to locate locations and plan trips. But they have certain features. So for example, they use bolts. The first thing is the border. They have an outline. Secondly, they have an orientation, which tells you which way north is, so then you can work out north, south, east and west. Next, they have the legend. The legend is like a series of symbols that can be used to identify features of the map. Nearly always have a title. They have a scale, so you know how far things are apart. And lastly, they should have a source. My map doesn't. It came from a textbook. Topographic maps also have contour lines. Contour lines help us and tell us how high things are. The further they are apart, it means the ground's less sloping. When they're closer together, like over here, that means that the climb is a lot steeper. You can see this one's at 300 metres, 250, 200, all the way around. Down in here is 150. So we can see this is actually a bit of a valley where the creek runs through and it steps up again to 200 metres and 250 metres. Next we have Eastings. Eastings are the lines that travel, travel up and down on a topographic map. I've marked them in red. We call them Eastings because the numbers increase down here the further east we travel. So there's north there, south, east and west. So you can see that the numbers increase from 81 right through to 93. Next we have Northings. You can see that the Northings travel horizontally or east to west, but they're called Northings because their numbers increase as they go towards the north. So you can see here over on the side, they go from 40 to 41 to 48. They're the basic features of a topographic map. 